Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And what I got for you today is another micro FPV racer. Um, these are going to explode this summer. There's going to be tons and tons of these coming out. Um, this, and the reason being, they are so fun to fly. And, um, you know, a lot of people been over this winter have been practicing with their uh, little uh, indoor uh, FPV racers. But now comes the explosion of the outdoor ones, and we're seeing, starting to see that. What I'm meaning, meaning, meaning is we're seeing a lot of these little micro FPVs coming out with both brush, brushless motors and the even cheaper ones coming out with brush motors, but large brush motors for the size of these quadcopters. Um, these are 8520s on this particular one here. Also coming with an all-in-one FPV camera. This one's an all-in-one 48-channel, 25-milliwatt FPV camera. Um, they're coming out with... Uh, F3 Evo flight control boards. You know, we're seeing good flight control boards on these little uh, racers. Configurable, of course. And uh, this one particular one is the, cool, the Ghoul RC90. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let me get my cheat sheet, folks. Make sure I got that right. Ghoul RC G90. <laughs> um, this one in particular is a very inexpensive micro FPV racer with an F3 EVO flight control board, flash to clean flight uh, 1.13.0. Um, being in, uh, inexpensive, you know, if you tried to build this on your own, it probably would actually cost about the same as you're paying for this one, the price of it. Uh, I ain't gonna list the current price now because that will change with time. But uh, currently, the, the price that this is going for at, at this date is approximately the same as if you would bought all these components to, you know, the frame, the carbon fiber frame, the receiver, which is in this case a free sky. It's only available in free sky receiver. And uh, the F3 flight control board and the motors and then the time you spent wiring it together. You know, you might as well just buy this one. Now, that being said, I don't know if the actual designers of this have actually flown it or not. We see that a lot with a lot of these cheaper um, FPV flyers it, that you need to actually configure the PIDs. Uh, it doesn't look like they actually fly, fly these, but we'll see with this one today. Um, taking a quick look at the PIDs on this one uh, at home, they seemed a little bit high. We'll see if that's the case. If I see a lot of wobbling in that, uh, we will further refine those PIDs. So keep that in mind, folks. You know, they're inexpensive, but there is a possibility that you will need to go in and modify those PIDs. That also being said, you know, just go to RC groups and see what the other people have modified their particular quadcopter with. And, it's not that hard to do is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do I need to say? It comes with a little common 600 milliamp per hour FP, or common 600 milliamp per hour 3.7 volt battery that you commonly see on CMX 5Cs, which means you will be able to find plenty of these batteries to keep you flying. So that's it. Let's go for a flight of the Ghoul RC G90 and see how it performs. Okay, we're ready to go here. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I don't know if I uh, remembered to mention is uh, this particular quadcopter, the Ghoul RC G90, is only available in Free Sky version. Uh, it's not available in DSM-2 or uh, Fly Sky, which I find kind of unusual, but you are going to need a Free Sky compatible transmitters like this Tyrannus here. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go for it here. So, got my goggles on and selecting acro, and we are armed. Let's go to the sky and see how it performs. Let me adjust these goggles a bit too. There we go. Here we go. Okay, we'll fly gentle first. And let's try a right turn. Actually, not too bad. I was surprised. Those pins seemed a little high to me, but it's not too bad at all. Let's try going between the trees. Coming up here. Got good reception on the quadcopter. Okay, this is my first flight with it, folks. It's actually not a bad little quadcopter for 49 bucks. Okay, let's go up a little higher and see how it feels in terms of... Okay, I don't know about it doing rolls. It doesn't feel... Uh, might have to adjust the pitch to do rolls, but we'll try it again. No, it's a little bit sl slow, so a little bit sluggish in terms of uh, performance for rolls. I'm not going to even try it, folks. But for just flying around right now, it's okay. So yeah, it does need a little bit of rhyme in here to make it a little more snappy. It's kind of gentle flyer right now. But maybe that's what it's intended to be for the price here. You start out with a gentle flyer to practice FPV flying. 
This would, would be a good one, though. Turns nicely. Just the roll is a little bit sluggish. So not really good for acrobatics at the moment. But again, that can be adjusted by going into the pids. Let's go down between the trees here. Seems to get a good flight time out of it with that 500 milliamp per hour battery on the little brushless motors. Nice flyer. Let's go around the, the barrels here. Let's take it up real high. I gotta try at least one roll. Oh, I take it back. It can do them. <laughs> I did one and a half roll there. Oops. Oh. Yeah, my auntie's going to go get that for me. <laughs> we'll see how it is, if it's crash worthy. Okay, I got it armed. Yeah, it's armed. I'm in acro. Let's see how it performs again. We're going for high speed flying this time with the camera up. Good. Now, those 8520 motors, are, they're good, but you got to be careful with them <laughs> because I went into the ground there. Give it a little more throttle. I tried to balance um, coming in low and close to us at the same time here with high speed. So, hey, the range on this camera is very good. I got to give you that. I'm able to go out pretty darn far here around us. So it's a good transmitter on that camera. Even though for 25 milliwatts here, I'm, I'm going out about 80 meters with no breaking up at all. Oh, there we go. I got a little break up that time. <laughs> we run, we go. Let's come back to the trees again. So, oh no, this is okay. This is okay for the price. 40, right now it's $49, folks. I don't know how long that's going to last, but $49 is not a bad deal for this. A little bit of pit adjustment there is needed, but uh, actually the pits just aren't too bad for actually for a new flyer learning acro. It could be a little more snappier, like I said there. Boom. But I kind of like this one. Again, especially for the price, what you're getting. Uh, one thing I didn't like, though, I got to say that right now. Let's, let's go over the trees. Um, the motors, they're 8520, commonly available motors, but they are soldered to the board. You are going to need, you know, if a motor goes bad, uh, I wouldn't solder them to the board. What I would do is splice the motors to fix them. They could be spliced, but um, regards of plug-in motors, they're not plug-ins, if that's what you're hoping for. That would be my one suggestion for improvement on this. But dang, it's not, not a bad flyer for the price. Okay, um, there is no buzzer on this to alert me when the battery's getting low. Uh, right now, it feels good. It's not getting sluggish, but uh, I don't want to destroy my battery, is what I'm saying, folks. So I think that's enough to demonstrate what this can do. Uh, we'll bring it down, and we'll try. I'm going to try to land it in acro mode this time on my pad. How oh, close. <laughs> Was that? Oh, I think I'm on the pad. I see blue. <laughs> that was good enough. <laughs> so all in all, the Ghoul RC G90. Um, actually, a nice little quadcopter, especially for the price. You know, you get yourself a little uh, brush motor uh, flyer. So it actually flew very nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101. Signing out.